today we going to see what other problems 5G going to cause to the earth. Not only the problems, subscribe the channel, and comment below, that in subscribed. Beginning 2020, the fifth generation of wireless technology is expected to be widely implemented throughout the world. The new network, called 5G, promises to give faster speeds, and, a higher capacity for the use of more devices. However, while companies from countries such as the United States and China are competing to be the first to deliver 5G to the consumer, the environmental impacts of the new network are being overlooked. In a time when the environment is at its most delicate, overlooking these impacts is extremely risky for future generations. The main environmental issues associated with the implementation of the 5G network come with the manufacturing of the many component parts of the 5G infrastructure. In addition, the proliferation of new devices that will use the 5G network that is tied to the acceleration of demand from consumers for new 5G dependent devices will have serious environmental consequences. The 5G network will inevitably cause a large increase in energy usage among consumers, which is already one of the main contributors to climate change. Additionally, the manufacturing and maintenance of the new technologies associated with 5G creates waste and uses important resources that have detrimental consequences for the environment. 5G networks use technology that has harmful effects on birds, which in turn has cascading effects through entire ecosystems. And, while 5G developers are seeking to create a network that has fewer environmental impacts than past networks, there is still room for improvement, and the consequences of 5G should be considered before it is widely rolled out. 5G means more bandwidth, more towers. One of the biggest benefits of having 5G service is the dramatic increase in bandwidth. Greater bandwidth means that files will download faster, accessing the internet will be much faster, and there will be little to no lagging during streaming. While this dramatic increase in bandwidth will have a direct impact on both users and the economy, there is also a downside, unlike 3G and 4G, that had the capability of reaching larger areas, 5G's reach will be much shorter. Smaller cells means that more towers will be needed to maintain connectivity. Building more towers will require more land leases which will increase revenue in a variety of ways, both for the consumer as well as for the cellular companies. The economic impact of the 5G network will mean more revenue for cellular providers, but an increase in the cost of their service, because of all the new construction that will be needed to support the network. Few disadvantages of 5G obstructions can impact connectivity. The range of 5G connectivity is not great as the frequency waves are only able to travel a short distance. Added to the setback is the fact that 5G frequency is interrupted by physical obstructions such as trees, towers, walls and buildings. The intrusions will either block, disrupt or absorb the high frequency signals. To counter this setback, the telecom industry is extending existing cell towers to increase the broadcast distance. Initial costs for rollout are high. The costs related to the development of 5G infrastructure, or, adaptations to existing cellular infrastructure will be high. This amount will be further compounded by the ongoing maintenance costs needed to ensure the high-speed connectivity, and it's likely the customers will bear the brunt of these big price tags. Cellular operators are looking to minimize these costs by exploring alternative options in the form of network sharing limitations of rural access. While 5G might bring about real connectivity for the predominantly urban areas, those living in the rural settings will not necessarily benefit from the connection. As it stands, many remote areas countrywide are not able to access any form of cellular connectivity. The 5G carriers are going to target big cities with larger populations, eventually working their way into the outer areas, but it's not likely this will be happening anytime soon. As a result, only some of the population will benefit from 5G communication. Upload speeds don't match download speeds. The download speeds of 5G technology are incredibly high, in some cases up to 1.9 Gbps. However, the upload speeds are rarely more than 100 megabits per second, which is not quite as incredible as initially touted, in relation to existing mobile connectivity. However, the upload speeds are higher, than being seen with 4G LTE. 
the ways 5G will change our lives are. Thus man according to the National League of Cities, two-thirds of US municipalities have invested in smart city technology. For example, San Diego installed smart lighting systems that automatically dim when no one's nearby, saving nearly $2 million a year in electricity costs. Pittsburgh is replacing 36,000 street lights with LEDs that contain sensors to monitor air quality. South Bend, Indiana, installed sensors inside manhole covers that redirect water flow when sewer levels get too high. After San Francisco installed gunshot detecting microphones in high crime neighborhoods, it reported a 35% decrease in incidents where shots were fired, smart cities. Upgrading to 5G will allow cities to handle data from millions more IoT devices and install low power sensors that can last years without needing replacement. This will expand their ability to intelligently manage traffic flow, air quality, power use, public safety and more. The world of work. Perhaps 5G's broadest impact will be industrial and commercial IoT. Location beacons already transform how goods move from inventory through shipping and delivery. Abbey Research predicts that more than 500 million objects will be tracked by 2023. Precision agriculture uses soil sensors and airborne cameras to identify crop disease, determine when to water and reduce pesticide usage. Smart factories deploy connected robots to automate dangerous and or repetitive jobs. All of these changes will increase exponentially once ultra-fast wireless networks are in place, accommodating an estimated 125 billion IoT devices by 2030. IoT will be a significant driver of what's coming to be known as backquote the fourth industrial revolution, says Greg Bellella, VMware vice president in the office of the CTO. Driverless cars, according to the National Highway Traffic Administration, nearly 95% of traffic accidents are caused by human error. Removing humans from behind the wheel could save up to 1.25 million lives every year. But for driverless cars to become fully autonomous, they'll need to communicate with the cars around them to avoid accidents and minimize congestion. They'll need to talk to sensors embedded in traffic lights, road signs, and the pavement to navigate more safely. And they'll need to get responses instantly. Only fast networks such as 5G can support millisecond level latencies, notes Dr. Kevin Curran, a professor at Ulster University in Northern Ireland, and group leader for the Ambient Intelligence Research Group. We are not far from driverless vehicles sharing our roads and one day dominating them, but first we need to invest in the infrastructure. Once driverless infrastructure is in place, the streets may become less crowded and the air less polluted. With fully autonomous vehicles, fewer people will own cars and ride sharing could become more common. The Boston Consulting Group predicts that this will slash the number of vehicles on city streets by 60% and tailpipe emissions by 80%. Telemedicine, trips to the doctor's office, may become as rare as house calls, thanks to virtual visits enabled by low latency, HD quality wireless networks. Wearable or implanted medical devices will capture your vitals and transmit them to healthcare providers, allowing them to detect early warning signs of heart attacks, strokes, or other life-threatening events. 5G will open the door to important developments in personalized, anywhere, anytime medicine, says Dr. David Teets, professor at Akberkali's Haas School of Business. High-speed wireless networks will also enable telesurgery, where specialists in one hospital control equipment in another facility hundreds of miles away. That day may be closer than you think. In January, a surgeon in China successfully removed part of a pig's liver from 30 miles away using a 5G connection. The main advantages of the 5G are, a greater speed in the transmissions, a lower latency, and, therefore greater capacity of remote execution a greater number of connected devices and the possibility of implementing virtual networks, providing more adjusted connectivity to concrete needs. So, that's all this video about, subscribe the channel, comment below that I'm subscribed, meet you in next video.